Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a drywall business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a drywall business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. It is your responsibility as a drywall business owner or contractor to assist your clients in the layout and installation of gypsum wallboards and gypsum wallboard assemblies. To run this type of business, you must first apply for and obtain your own drywall contractor license and permit. Before you can be issued a drywall contractor license and permit, you must first register your business and then obtain the necessary training, and each state in the United States has its own requirements. Regardless of the type of business you choose to start, it is critical to note that prior to launching the business, you should conduct market research, economic and cost analysis, and, of course, feasibility studies. If you do everything correctly before starting your drywall contracting business, it won't be long before you have enough corporate clients and can start smiling to the bank. If you want to start your own drywall contracting business, all you have to do is read this article and you will be well informed and prepared. You can start your drywall contracting business in a small town in the United States, and if you are consistent and creative, it won't be long before your brand becomes a nationally recognized brand and you begin working for clients all over the country. The drywall contracting business is part of the real estate construction industry, and a drywall contractor is a manager and possibly a tradesman hired by the client on the advice of the architect, engineer, or architectural technologist, or the client himself herself if acting as manager. It is your responsibility as a drywall business owner or contractor to assist your clients in the layout and installation of gypsum wallboard and gypsum wallboard assemblies. This includes non-structural metal framing members, tapping, and the texturing operations that are required. A site visit is required for a better understanding of the project to be carried out if it is a renovation project. The drywall contracting company will submit a fixed price proposal or bid, cost plus price, or an estimate depending on the project delivery method. To provide the owner with a price for the project, the drywall contracting company considers the cost of home office overhead, general conditions, materials and equipment, and logistics as it relates to transporting equipment and manpower to site, as well as the cost of labor. Drawings, project manual including general, supplementary, and special conditions and specifications, addendum or modifications issued prior to bidding and prepared by a design professional such as an architect, are some of the essential documents submitted by a drywall contracting company when bidding for a project contract. The construction industry can proudly claim responsibility for the world's infrastructure development. The development of any country or city is the work of construction companies and other stakeholders. In other words, all of the edifices, bridges, dams, roads, estates, campuses, shopping malls, office complexes, skyscrapers, and massive structures you see around you are all products of the construction industry's drywall contracting line of business. Except for the cost of managing a large workforce, starting a drywall contracting business is not capital intensive because you do not need heavy-duty equipment that is required to carry out a construction project. The drywall contracting business is extremely profitable, especially if you have the expertise and capacity to complete high-quality jobs. Step 1. Complete any required training to learn how to finish drywall. Learn this skill on the job or through vocational school. Enroll in an apprenticeship program to learn the trade as another option. As you gain experience, keep a list of customers who would be willing to give you a reference. Step 2. Develop a business plan for your drywall company, indicating whether you intend to work with residential, commercial, or industrial clients, or a combination of all three. Explain how you intend to finance and market your drywall business. Make a series of cost projections that include startup expenses such as marketing to targeted customers with new construction or restoration jobs. Long-term liabilities, such as equipment loans, should be included, as should day-to-day -day operating costs such as capital outlay for drywalling supplies and employee salaries. Even if you will complete drywall work on the job site, you must include the cost of an office, even if you will work from home. Step 3. Gather the tools needed for drywall installation and finishing. Hand tools like sanders, hawks, and trowels are included, as are larger items like ladders, scaffolding, and stilts. 
Step 4. Register your drywall finishing business name with the Secretary of State in your state. Fill out any tax identification number applications that are required. Complete the paperwork if you intend to operate as a corporation or a limited liability company, also known as an LLC. Obtain a business license in your area. Completing the application and paying the fees Step 5. Recruit employees. Look for drywall installers and finishers who have basic drywall finishing training. Hiring workers with similar job experience or training to yours is preferable. Step 6. Create advertising for your new drywall company by designing an advertising logo or image that will brand your company in the minds of potential customers. Place ads in local newspapers, radio, and television that include this drywall business logo. Hire someone to design a website for you that incorporates your logo branding. Create business cards with the same logo. Give a business card with your drywall business logo to every customer you meet in person, whether past, present, or future. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a drywall business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.